guys, Robby46 here, and welcome yourselves back to MotoGP15. Let's continue with career. We're still in Moto2. And today, we are at Argentina. And for once, um, I actually got to do a wet session. Uh, it's wet qualifying. So I only managed to qualify 7th. Um, but I just like, realised that I'd done the whole Moto3 career without having a single wet race. Uh, not that I'm complaining, because uh, I prefer the dry races, but um, I've yet to do a wet race. I had a wet qualifying, but it's dry for the race. So uh, let's see what we can do. Like I said, qualified 7th. But uh, I think we've got some decent pace. We're up to 5th. Oh, 4th now. We've got Rabat. Lowe's and Zarko. What a move. I just to get up the inside of Rabat and then managed to get both Lowe's and Johan Zarke up the inside, three abreast and then start accelerating away so we're in the lead I'm not sure how long that's going to last because they're probably going to get me on this straight although they don't seem to be gaining I've upgraded the bike a little bit. We're still on the Mistral chassis. Um, upgraded the bike's chassis and suspension. All to level one. Um, has it made a difference? Not really. It's still not going to be as quick as the others down the straight just because of the aerodynamics, which you can't change. We've gone wide. Rins is trying to get us, but we've got him back. Oh, some uh, wheel squealing there. I don't know who that was. So we're leading Rins by two temps. It's bug rule, really. But uh, the main thing is we're in the lead. And that's where we need to be. Alright, come round to finish the first lap. Okay, there we go. Start finish is in the wrong place. There we go, first lap done. So, what I want to talk about quickly whilst this race is still going on is um, the uh, league racing, which I'm setting up now. Um, we have a full lobby. However, if anyone still wants to race, um, then you're more than welcome to be a reserve rider just in case some people can't actually race on the night um, if they can't make it you will be called upon if if you want that then uh, obviously let me know send me a message on Xbox or if we get enough reserve riders I might have to run a second lobby as well but um, yeah thanks to all the people that have applied for it and uh, we are starting next week um, it's meant to be next Thursday, but a couple people can't do Thursday, so I might change it to Friday nights. Um, just so everyone can do it, but I don't want to change it to Friday nights and then more people can't do Fridays and Thursdays. But we'll see what happens. I'll let everyone know um, who's applied that we may change it to Friday night and see what they say. But yeah, really excited. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, I've explained the rules to everyone. And uh, yeah, I will obviously be putting out videos from it. I'll be doing the leaderboard in the videos as well. So uh, look out for that. And um, yeah, it's going to be good. Everyone seems to be in good spirits about it. Always looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, can't wait. So we're on the final lap. We've got a half decent lead. Just need to pull away a little bit more. Oh, bit squirrely. Oh, that's not what I wanted to be. That's going to lose a shitload of drive down this straight. Oh, it's over a second. Just back to Rabat. But they're going to gain on me big time because of that error. Yep, there's the arrows. They are right behind me now. Loses second. OK, 
has 0.7. So it hasn't really come down that much considering I made a complete balls up of the uh, exit going onto the back straight. Just keep concentrated, don't make any more mistakes like that. Lays and Rabat are still fighting, so that may help me out a bit. What's the split? It's not going to tell me. God damn it. Well, I know that they're behind me, so that's the main thing. Don't lose the front of this corner. That'd be a silly thing to do. And don't high side coming out of this corner. No, nope, we're safe. We've done it. We have won at Argentina. Good stuff. We didn't win there in Moto3, but we won there in Moto2. What was the gap? Almost a second. 1.2 back to Rabat. Well, that went better than qualifying. Qualifying, well, the wet is good. I, I don't think that they've done a bad job with the wet settings. It's easy to lose the front, it's easy to lose the rear. Um, yeah, you definitely got to slow down, you can't go around as quick in the wet as you can in the dry, which is good. Right, it is time for Haref. We're on pole position, it's sunny. Come on, let's go. Definitely find a Moto 2 a lot easier than Moto 3. Um, in Moto GP 14, Moto 3 is my weakest um, class, along with the uh, two stroke bikes. But um, at least we won the Moto 3 championship. Rabat is trying to uh, come around us. A bit wide. Fine. Oh, we might be able to sneak under Zarko. Yes, we do. Just managed to get underneath him. Couldn't get the drive out to catch Lowe's, but sliding on the curb. And then just push Zarko out a little bit. He pops a little wheelie. We managed to get into Lowe's slipstream. Can we outbreak him down here? No, oh, Zarko's going around the outside. He's gone wide. He's managed to keep it, goddammit. Oh, we've got a bit of a race on our hands. Just trying to stay with him for the moment. Don't need to lead yet. Just stay with him. No, actually drop him back a bit. Catch him up again on the brakes. Up to the two quick right handers. If we can close up a bit on the second one, get into the final corner where drama usually happens. Got a bit wide. Close back up. What's my drive like at the last corner? It's that going up into second gear. So aggressive. Loser's quickest on that lap. We've closed back up. Looks like he left a massive dart line behind him then. Oh, is he going for the lead? I think he is. Zarko is now in the lead. So Lowe's going to try and get him back. Am I going to try and get both of them? I've got to try into this corner because I can shove up the inside. Yes. That worked. Nice one. We are in the lead. I think they're going to come back though because they're going to be in the slipstream. Here comes Zarko. And Lowe's. Lean on Zarko a bit. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Zarko, stop it. You're letting Lowe's get away. Okay, so that, that's quite a decent gap up to Lowe's now. Me and Zarko are fighting. I have to do my best to claw that back. God, that was a big bang for changing gear. 0.6, it's come down, it's probably about 0.4 now. Just 
need to close up on him. Next corner, get a good drive out of here. Oh yes. And into the final corner. Closing up again. Oh, almost hit the back of him. Oh yeah, we got a good exit. We got a good exit. We're on the wrong side, but we've got a good exit. Where are we gonna do it? First corner. Oh no. Can we get him in the same place Zarko got him? I think so, we've got better drive. We've got him on the brakes. I think we got him. We've got him. There's a pretty sweet move up the inside. Went in just a little bit too hot. So he did try to get back underneath me as I end up going wide. I managed to pull it back and then I'm on the right side for the left hander. Both slide in. Just get slightly better drive out. And we're back in the lead. So there's been the final lap. We need to break away from Lowe's. Point three at the moment. This is where we usually bit better than them so hopefully we can pull away I think we have I think it's about half a second point six so they close up a bit on that corner they seem to get a better exit out there and break a little bit later now we're into the section where I'm a bit quicker than them which is good because it's the final section of the track Going well. Point seven. The main thing is he's not closing it, it's just slightly extending. Oh, wide. Don't want to do that. Into the final corner. No one challenging for that dramatic final overtake. And there we go! Another win! It's all coming up nice and rosy. So that done to the championship? 31 points! That's good. 31 point lead. Might have to start qualifying a bit worse and then start well he start starting from the back of the grid again cheering him on he dictated the rhythm of the race no one could keep up with this the only trouble with starting from the back of the grid is obviously you don't do qualifying um, and unless you win you get bugger all um, GP points for your team which is annoying because I might not change chassis. I might do, but I want to save up for a half decent MotoGP bike. Anyway, let's look at the standings. MotoGP. Marquez is leading Lorenzo by 13 points and Rossi by 16 points. Say, so, that one's pretty close. I wonder if that's going to go down to the wire again. Moto2, as we've seen, I'm in the lead by 31 points over both Lowe's and Zarco, who are on exactly the same points. So at the moment it's going well. And Moto3, Fabio Quattararo is leading, well, is equal first with Danny Kent. And Vasquez is in third. Well, wow. it's all going well. Next race will be at Le Mans. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.